Hello everybody, tonight for dinner we are having baked tacos. So I've got some ground round that I browned up. I added in some refried beans, some canned tomatoes. Over here we have another skillet with also refried beans and tomatoes. Uh, dinner guest tonight um, doesn't think they would like, you know, the refried beans or the tomatoes. And so I just kind of mix this up. It makes the ground beef go further. It makes the tacos heartier. And um, I'm going to put my shells in a casserole in just a minute after I mix this up. And then I will add in the meat mixture, a bunch of cheese, pop it in the oven, and dinner will be ready a few minutes later. Super easy and delicious dinner. Okay, so as you can see, I like to really fill them up. I like them to be heavy filling tacos, and most of the time Jackson will only eat a couple. Scott will eat a couple. I'll eat a couple. We got a few others without the beans and tomatoes, and now I'm just going to add a bunch of cheese, pop them in the oven for about 10 minutes, and then dinner's done. Hello, everybody. So tonight for dinner, some of us are having potato soup, and some of us are having nuggets and fries. I just put a big plate of nuggets in, and these are the whole grain dino nuggets. So they're a little bit healthier, and I did set a roast out to thaw, because I was going to make it today, but I forgot to put it out. So um, we are simply having leftover potato soup, and we are also having, you know, like, kid food. So it's kind of um, a hodgepodge tonight, but that's dinner in our house. Sorry I'm recording on my iPhone. It might look a little bit different, um, but I forgot to charge my camera. So um, we got some cheese out for the soup, and we got stuff that um, Jackson will like too. Hello everybody. Welcome back. We have another meal here. So tonight we are having chicken soft tacos. It couldn't be easier, but there is quite a bit of prep work and I like to do it all at first. So I wanted to make sure there was enough for my family tonight and enough for leftovers a little bit this week. So I have um, a lot of chicken cut up into strips. You can see it's on the plastic board that keeps it from going into the pores of the wood board and contaminating a lot of your other food. So always on a plastic board. Then on this plastic board is additional things I need to cook up. I have two red onions because we like onions a lot and they cook up to basically nothing. So I have two red onions cut up, one red pepper cut up, and some garlic. So that's the stuff that's going to be cooked. Over here is stuff that I'm going to put on the table. I'm actually just carrying this board over. We have some tomatoes, some lettuce, some cheese that I shredded up, and we have an avocado and I will open that up um, right at dinner basically and we have some sour cream we also have some taco sauce I haven't got out yet the first thing I'm gonna get started on is the onions and they're gonna take a little bit longer and I will probably go ahead and cook up the chicken in a different skillet I'm gonna have to do it in batches but again um, you know it's easier to do the prep work this is a really fast meal besides you know getting things ready and we also have some tortillas that I'll break out in just a few minutes and warm up in the microwave this is an easy delicious meal that my family is going to love so let's get started okay so dinner is done the table is set it's quite a full table so I have the chicken on one side Jackson doesn't really like a lot of onions but I have the onions and peppers on another in this big casserole dish we have our fixing or toppings whichever you want to call it we have um, chips and salsa right here and we also have our tortillas I just warmed them up in the microwave with a damp towel over it um, we have some water for dinner tonight, which is not going to make anybody happy, and we also have some sour cream. So that's dinner tonight. We're going to get making our chicken fajitas and get dinner over with, and I'll see you tomorrow with another dinner. So doesn't that look yummy? I know you can't see everything on it, but there's everything, including avocado, which is one of my favorite things. That's dinner. Hello, everybody. So for dinner tonight, I put a roast in the oven. So what I did was I simply seared the roast on the stove and um, added in some beef stock. I also browned up an onion before I put it in the oven. I put it in the oven, let it get a good start on it, and then put the carrots in. I made just some smashed red potatoes and for Jackson and myself, I'm gonna serve it up with cottage cheese because that's what we're used to eating with it. And I'm gonna make our plates. We're all starving. So dinner is done, it's plated up, and it's time to eat. 
Hello, everybody. So tonight we are back in the kitchen. We have another What's Cooking meal, and this is for homemade beans and franks, kind of like pork and beans with the hamburger with the hot dogs. So over here in this bowl, and I will try to put this on my blog. If I don't, you can remind me. I have two tablespoons brown sugar, two teaspoons salt, a fourth of a teaspoon of fresh ground pepper, two tablespoons of molasses, a fourth of a cup of ketchup, a half a cup of maple syrup, and I have everything else. So spicy mustard, maple syrup, molasses, and the molasses was, I think, a fourth of a cup, if I'm not mistaken, or... Let me see. Um, two tablespoons, I'm sorry. So two tablespoons. We have some ketchup, which is in it. And we have one pound of navy beans. Um, I also made some cornbread around making it. And then we have some drip mix here. I'm just taking a little help from the store. I've already mixed it up. I'm heating up a dish in the oven. Now over here, we have the navy beans. And all you have to do is cover them with water and let them boil for about an hour until they are tender and then drain them and I will be back in just a minute to share what you do next. Okay so at this point the beans have cooked for about an hour. I put them in with the sauce. Now over here in my stock pot that I made the beans in um, I added some bacon. Um, just I don't know five or six strips at the bottom. We're gonna dump this in. So then you just cover it with some boiling water just like that and I'm using my teapot. And then we're going to cover it with aluminum foil and then add the lid. It's going to go into a 300 degree oven and it's going to take probably around five hours. And you want to check it about every hour, hour and a half to make sure it's not drying out. We'll put the hot dogs in later, but now it's about to go in the oven. Okay, so I've got the hot dogs cut up like I showed you before. We're at the last 30 minutes, so you're, I'm going to leave the top off, and this is these have been cooking for about five hours, and homemade baked beans for sure. I added, you know, a little extra bacon. My family likes bacon. I'm going to add in the hot dogs, and then I'm going to put it back into the oven for about 30 minutes and get my cornbread baked that I just showed you and then it will be time for dinner. And this is a kid favorite. Most kids like hot dogs and most kids like pork and beans. So if your kids like both, make your own. It's really, really easy and delicious. And we're just stirring those in, just like that. And I'll put it back in the oven for about 30 more minutes. Okay, so it is done. Now I've already filled up the bowls and it thickens up on its own. Super, super easy and very hearty. I've cut the cornbread up. It's on our plates. And you can kind of see it's just beans and franks. But it is, and one of us don't like beans, but um, it is delicious, hearty, easy. And it freezes really well. So if you have extra, you can put it in some little individual bowls, freeze it, thaw it out whenever you want it. Um, because it does freeze really well. And again, we're just serving it up with cornbread. And I will try to have this recipe on the blog, you know, um, with this What's Cooking video. I was gonna make a video on its own, but I just didn't have time to do that. So it's going in the What's Cooking video. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. It's time for us to eat. Okay, so tonight for dinner, I took a pork roast, put it in the crock pot here, and I added two of these Campbell slow cooker sauces for the Hawaiian pork. And I made some rice, and I'm just going to serve it right on top of the rice. And that is our simple dinner. We had a very busy afternoon. We knew it was going to be a long, busy afternoon. So we, we planned for it food-wise. The crock pot did all the cooking. While we um, did all the stuff we needed to do. So that's our dinner for tonight. We're all kind of eating at different stages. And um, it's there. They can come make their plates as they get hungry. It's a very informal night. But that is our dinner. Very, very simple. Easy. Um, the crock pot, like I said, basically did all the work. This is the first time I've ever used one of these little sauce packets. Um, Scott picked them out. So I don't know for sure how I will like it, but I will let you guys know um, what I think in just a little bit of it. Hello, everybody. So I am busy getting dinner ready. 
Let me explain. I've already started setting up the plates. Last night we had the Hawaiian pork. Nobody liked it. Scott ate it. He did not care for it at all. So it was a big pork roast and I didn't want to waste it. What I ended up doing late last night when I was cleaning the kitchen, I put the pork roast, I scooped it out, I put it in a drainer, and I rinsed all of that Hawaiian sauce off of it. I know that, I mean, it took me a while. I was actually in speaker room with my best friend while I was doing it. I could not let that go to waste. It just could not go to waste. Nobody really enjoyed it. It was, it was just not my thing. My husband picked it out. He didn't know. So, I basically rinsed the pork roast really well. Today, I stuck it back in the crock pot with two um, jugs of honey barbecue sauce. I thought, you know what? We'll have pulled pork sandwiches. We won't let um, this go to waste. There's no way I'm going to do that. So, it looks perfect. Um, oops, sorry. Get back away from that steam. My family will definitely eat this, and it didn't go to waste. It might be a little unorthodox washing pork roast in a strainer, but I seriously was not going to let that go to waste. So I have that happening, and it's just been in the crock pot on low. It's, the, it's cooked. I was just trying to really marry the flavors to make sure there was none of that Hawaiian kind of taste going on. Um, I'm also making some mac and cheese and green beans. And this is a very simple dinner. It's dinner two with the pork roast. I mean, it's better than wasting it. So um, I'm just waiting on everything else to get done and then it's time to eat. So here is dinner tonight. Some mac and cheese, the redone pork, and um, I did put some pudding on the plates and some green beans. Very simple, casual dinner tonight and that's what we're having. Hello everybody, so tonight for dinner we are having um, homemade Salisbury steaks. Now, I have learned throughout the years that if you try to make these on the stove, a lot of times they're going to fall apart. So, what I've done is I've taken, taken some lean ground round. I mixed it with some ketchup, some more sour sauce, um, some onion soup, salt, pepper, garlic. Um, I also grated in some onions. And I just mixed it up and kind of patted out some big, thick onions. Um, little Salisbury steaks, I guess. So I'm going to get these in the oven on 350. I'm going to let them cook through. I'm going to smother them with gravy, and that is the main course of dinner. I'm going to make some mashed potatoes, corn to go with it, and serve it up to my family. Okay, so dinner is done. We have the homemade Salisbury steaks, mashed potatoes with gravy, and corn. That is our simple dinner tonight. Um, like I said, they cook up better in the oven. I just took some packet brown gravy and once they were cooked, I put it over the top. You know, I've already mixed it with water and um, it's just an easy, simple meal tonight, but filling and it's like stick to your ribs kind of food and it's perfect for a cold night like tonight. So that is dinner tonight. Hello everybody, tonight is Halloween and we are having a fun little dinner and I've taken some bell peppers that cut out some faces like they're pumpkins. And I'm going to put these in the microwave for about one minute just to kind of soften them up. Nothing, um, you know, too, too soft. Um, I think they'll be better if they have a little bit of crisp to them. And then I am filling those up with pasta. So I'm getting ready to drop my pasta in the water. And um, I also have some garlic bread going and the teapot for some tea. But that is our simple dinner tonight. I'll show you what it looks like plated up in just a few minutes. Okay, so here is our... Very quick and easy Halloween dinner. We have the unattractive spaghetti coming out of the little peppers, salad, and garlic bread. Super, super easy to do. And last year we had the little mini um, mummies with hot dogs and croissant rolls. But this year we are just doing just like little pumpkins with peppers. That is our dinner tonight. It's time to eat. 
You guys are more than welcome to enjoy the blog at kjaggers.com. There's so many posts here going all the way back to 2010. You can get lost for hours in the archives getting to know Scott, I, our family. There's tons of links in the sidebar that you should find useful. Also, our Instagram pictures are here. There's more links at the bottom, and it's just like our home away from home. Also, Instagram, like I just said, you can find me under kjaggers. I post daily pictures pictures here. I love getting to know you and seeing your pictures. I find it such a uplifting, generous, beautiful community. I really love Instagram, so follow along. You can additionally join the conversation on Facebook. We talk a lot on here and we talk about random things. I share different blog posts and YouTube videos, random pictures, and you can always send me a private message. The links are below if you do want to follow. You can always tweet me at Keisha Jaggers. I love Twitter. It goes so fast. So much is on Twitter. And I love getting to know you here as well. I am not on Twitter as much, but I'm trying to be more active, and I would love it if you followed us. And last but not least, do not forget about Pinterest. Here's another spot you can get lost for hours. I have a lot of our own pins, as well as many others that you can totally learn things from and enjoy. It's really a very beautiful community within itself. Thank you guys again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It reminds me that you did enjoy the video, and I would definitely love it if you commented below. Let me know your thoughts on this video or anything else. Thanks again for watching, you guys. Don't forget to visit the blog. Bye!